everything that you must not do because these things might cause poverty into your life. It might cause hardship into your life. It might cause disappointment into your life. It might cause delay into your life. It might con cause rising and falling in your life. There is so many spiritual mystery behind human life, behind human journey in life, that behind glory, success, and prosperity. When you keep to these rules, you will find life very easy and very, very simple. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you two or three things you must know because these things might cause you poverty or hardship. But if you know this and avoid it, things will be working for you by the grace of God Almighty. So you welcome back to my channel again today. I greet you all depend on where you are watching me from. And exactly when you see this video, you are highly welcome to my channel. Welcome to our channel. So how are you guys doing? So please do subscribe, turn on the bell notification, so you will always be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for coming back today. Thank you for coming always. I love you and stay blessed forever. So guys, in today's video, I want to share with you these few things that you should not do or do things that can, few things that can cause hardship and poverty into people's lives. Now, number one, if you are a if, as a human, anytime you make a vow to something or to somebody, or you set something into existence, all right, you have opened your mouth and said this particular thing into existence. Air have had it, the four elements have had it. Please make sure you fulfill that. No matter how bad it is, make sure you fulfill it. If this particular vow can hinder your progress in the future. It might not happen instantly. It might be in the future or when your mind has already gone out from that to start manifesting. So making a vow or making a covenant, unfulfilled one, causes a lot of hindrances to people's life and life. That is number one. Number two, if you're a lady, all right, or a man as well, please don't use the soap that you are using to bet, your betting soap. Don't use it to watch your aunties. Yes. I know that this, like I said, this is a spiritual mystery. This is a secret spiritually that many people might not know. Now, get yourself your bedding soap. You can get yourself a laundry soap. Keep it in your bedroom. If you want to watch any of your aunties, use that particular laundry soap to wash it. Stop using the soap you are using to bed to watch your aunties. It causes negative things and it reduces people, mm -hmm. it makes people not to go far in life. That is number two. Number three. Now, this one, I know many people might be uh, a victim of this, but God will have mercy. Now, I came in contact with somebody and she said, Lady P, a portion is just normal. I don't want to keep the child, I'm not ready to have the child. And instead of me bringing the child into the world and she or she starts suffering, it's better and about it. And I laughed. You know why? Because let me tell you, there is spiritual consequences. There is a lot of consequences, disappointment, failures, many negative things that comes from this. Yes. So it's very, very bad. This is a mistake you must not do. This is a mistake you must not do. If you are not ready for it, you know exactly what to do. My people used to say, prevention is better than cure. Don't say, oh, I'm not ready to keep it. When the child comes to the world, I don't want to start suffering the child. When you were born, you were born of a glory. Every child coming into the world comes with a different glory. So you terminating a child that has been in existence to manifest his or her glory, there is a lot of disappointment that comes from it. There is some children that is so much precious that when you do such things, they will torment, they will make the person's life to be miserable. So this is one of the things that can hinder somebody's progress in life. Now, another thing. Now, don't ever borrow your broom, your sweeping broom to a stranger or to your neighbor. That broom that you use in sweeping your house, please stop borrowing it to somebody. If you have a neighbor that always comes to borrow your brooms in your house, please stop it. You can get a new one and give it to the person. But that particular one you have used to sweep your house, please don't give it out. 
And now don't don't just throw your your broom like throw your broom away even when it gets old. Instead of that, burn it and dispose the ashes. By so doing, somebody that is very wicked or somebody that is after your life can use your used brooms to scatter things in your home, to scatter your marriage, most especially, to separate people from being together. That is another one. Now, another one. Now, this word, I know you might know this word, but let me repeat it. If you are living in a house that is very, is a, very uh, you are living in a public house, please don't leave your clothes outside. Yes, this one, we, we, you don't know the hearts of others. But in order to play safe, make sure that if you spread your clothes, when you want to sleep at night, please go and pack your, so, so, uh, your clothes, even when it's not dry. Keep it when when you wake up in the morning, go back and spread it again. Many people's life has been tormented using this method. Alright? Okay, now, another thing again you need to know again that can cause hardship and cause sickness and disappointment. Anytime you, if you are sick, alright? Especially this sickness that is, uh, that doesn't have, that okay let me say if you are sick like spiritual sickness or natural sickness now after taking drugs after taking drugs you see that your empty your drugs the one that you have finished taking please don't dispose it anyhow you can put it in your view and tie it throw it to where somebody that doesn't know you yes but don't just throw it anywhere let me tell you this one a lot of people don't really know about it Somebody that is after their enemy's life can use a used drug to, to place a spiritual sickness into somebody's life. And the person will be sick without knowing the cause of the sickness. So anytime you finish taking any drugs for any illness or you want to take it for any reason, please, the empty drugs, make sure you dispose it immediately. Make sure you dispose it immediately. Alright? Now, another thing is this. Don't use the broom you use in removing cobwebs in your house to sweep your house. Brooms, is, brooms, broom are not expensive. You can get broom fifty naira, hundred naira. So get a particular broom. Keep it. This one is just for cleaning the house. Now those partic that particular one you use in cleaning, removing cobwebs, removing all those things. Please don't ever or stop using it to sweep your house. Is not good. I may not have time to explain to you what it stands when you're using it to sweep and all that, but let me tell you it's not good. Now, finally, this one might stand for it. as a man, whether it's your wife or is your whoever, please stop having anything to do with your woman when she's on her floor. Yes, please, it's not good. Apart from health issues spiritually is not good i may not really have time to explain what it stands or what it can do to you spiritually even as a woman it's not good all right now if you are following me i shared a lot of spiritual benefits about that now this is just for safety and this can cause a lot of disappointment hardship poverty and delay in your life so there is so many ways Maybe this video is going to have 32 if you permit me to do so. I will share with you more tips on the simple things you must not do spiritually. Alright? So finally, please remove every watch or work clock that is not working in your house. Now, there are so many of them. I will share with you in my next video. Thank you all for watching. If you are not yet subscribed or follow me, please do so. So that you don't miss out in my next video. See you in my next one. Stay blessed wherever you are. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe it. Share it to everyone to save a soul. And God Almighty will bless you. See you in my next one. Bye. Bye.